What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mega Man Wins here and today we will be talking about which pistol is the best in Critical Ops and I am going to be talking about the three pistols, the GSR, the P250 and the MR96. All three of these pistols of course have their pros and cons. In this video we're going to explain all of that. So first of all we're going to be covering the P250. The P250 is a semi-automatic pistol otherwise known as the guns the federal agents actually carry in real life. This gun is great for mid and long range, I mean at close range, and it's best used not in long range gunfights, basically. And if you do, do play it in a long range gunfight, a tapping uh, mechanism is recommended. Facts about the P250, um, it does have 17 bullets per round and 51 bullets per total uh, magazine, and the reload time does take 2.1 seconds, making it much faster than the MR96 and slightly faster than the GSR. So these are just facts to take it, to keep it in account when you decide for yourself which pistol do I want to use whenever I play Critical Ops. And another fact for the P250, it does 26 damage to the player with armor on the body, so it does take approximately four shots to the body when you hit players with armor, and also you could even um, one tap players with no armor when it comes to the p250 and a second third of all third faster fire rate of all the pistols so it's just pretty it has a good fire rate um let's see what else is there to talk about in regards to the p250 on un, 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 unarmored area when you hit unarmored opponents in the head with the p250 it's going to do 104 damage to the chest it will do 38 damage to the stomach it'll do 43 to the legs it'll do 33 and to the arms it'll do 33 so essentially whenever you don't hit the head on unarmored opponents for the p250 it's going to take essentially three shots to kill them or four depending on if you graze them or not an armored opponent to their head with the p250 you're going to hit a 68 a 68 damage off of them so you're going to hit two shots to the head depending on the range that you're placed at in that gun fight um to the chest you have 24 damage inflicted upon to them to the stomach it's 27 to the legs is 21 and to the arms it is 24 these are just quick statistics of the p250 if you guys want to compare that to other guns which i don't have the statistics for the mr96 and the gsr but i do have facts and cons pros and cons for all of them um so good things about the p250 as well is that the recoil pattern is pretty medium it's very easy to control um when you compare when you do compare to guns such as the mr96 which does have um more recoil and more um yeah just more you have to aim better and just has more recoil and the rate of fire has 280 uh, rounds rounds per mag a minute so definitely way faster than the mr96 um it has good it has good movement you know you move pretty fast when you're holding the, M the p250 and it does 26 damage so that's pretty good last thing to note about the p250 it does become inaccurate after the first few shots so after you do fire a few shots off you might want to start tapping if you do want to become accurate and if you don't notice whenever you do play the tapping mechanism with the p250 the bullets actually are more so on the bottom middle of the crosshair um versus being anywhere else and i can show that with the screenshot yeah, that is basically <coughs> how you control the tapping of the P250. So when you're in long range gunfights, that's how you would control it. We are going to be moving on to the next gun in the category, and we're talking about the MR96, people. The MR96 is a very powerful pistol, otherwise known as the revolver in critical ops. This gun does have 6 bullets per clip and 20 in the magazine, making it 26 for the entire gun. Making it less bullets than the P250, but like I said, it does have more strength and power. If a high damage weapon is what you seek, the MR96 is absolutely perfect for that, as it in fact does deal more damage than any other pistol in the game. The MR96 can definitely do damage to enemy players' armors at close and medium range, but in fact, it does suffer from a small velocity drop when you are playing at long range gunfights, especially if you do crazy opponents and you don't actually hit them due to inaccuracy. So typically it's like two shots when you kill it at close range, but it could be three with bad accuracy over long range. And the pros of the MR96, otherwise known as the revolver, it's high accuracy over long ranges. So yeah, it's very good. Players actually like to use the MR96 along with their sniper rifle for whenever they play sniper rifle, you ratio, whatever sniper it is actually. When they miss their shots, they instantly pull out their revolver and they play it like it's a sniper. Most of the time when you're playing revolver, otherwise known as MR96, um, you basically just hold angles and wait for players to push because it's a weapon that you wouldn't want to push with because like I said, it doesn't have a fast firing rate. It's um, a slow gun and yeah. This gun, just, it doesn't fire just as fast as other guns. 
I mean, it actually takes longer for you to pull out the gun as well so you need to keep this in mind whenever you do play in Martin 86 um, you need to preemptively pull out your gun before you walk around the corners or you will be having a big goof moment where you run into the opponent and you're still trying to pull out the gun as well as when you're trying to reload it um, reload time does take longer than the P250 and the GSR so keep that in mind in comparison whenever you do compare these pistols together and cons is um yeah those were the cons it just takes a long time for you to reload and take out the gun now we are going to move on to the last gun of the category we're talking about the GSR this gun also costs six hundred dollars to buy and the facts about the GSR is that it has basically 30 it has eight bullets per round and 32 bullets total meaning it it doesn't have a lot of bullets like you need to watch how you play with your GSR because like I said it only has eight bullets so um, you need to watch how you play with those because you're, you're quickly gonna have to reload if you spam those bullets so keep that in mind when you're playing with GSR also it doesn't make as much damage as the revolver it does make a little bit more damage than the P250 and it is a little bit more accurate as well than the P250 but like I said um, it just doesn't have the strength of the MR96 the pros of the GSR would be high, the high damage to the head that it can whenever it's at close range so you can actually just one tap players um, whenever you're close range with that and it has moderate a moderate firing rate um, uh, moderate to high damage so it's pretty good it's not the best but it's not worse it's, it's better than the p250 but it's not um stronger than the mr96 in regards to the damage that it does deal and it's very quiet whenever you shoot the gun it also doesn't even show on the radar so those are all the pros and reasons why players would pick the gsr and the cons of that is that it does have a low capacity count with only 32 bullets and it does have a low magazine count only eight bullets to play with so those are the cons you guys are going to have to make the decision what is the best pistol everybody knows pistols are used in different scenarios for different reasons so it is up to you the player to decide which pistol is the best i'm just going to throw these facts at you guys and let you understand what it is if you guys have any other questions in regards to pistols of these that i've covered in these videos don't forget to drop it in the comment section flood my comment section with a uh, request of like new videos requests and all that stuff join my discord or like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on notification bells as well i will see you guys in the next video peace